Former DNC chair and former Obama labor secretary, Tom Perez, has joined has just joined a union busting law firm. Quite the job for a former labor secretary. Now, as I'll get to in a minute here, of course, if you have followed Tom Perez at all, this is not really a surprising move, career move for him. But let me first get to um, this uh, announcement about where he's working. So reporting here from the Daily Poster, this is a fantastic outlet, by the way, if you want great investigative reporting. Former Obama Labor Secretary Tom Perez announced on Thursday that he's joining the law firm Venable LLP, whose website boasts that its lawyers regularly counsel and train clients on union avoidance. Perez, who was the Democratic National Committee chair until January, joins a growing number of Obama officials who cashed in their government experience with jobs at union busting companies. That list includes Press Secretary Press Secretaries Jay Carney, who became the top flack at Amazon, and Robert Gibbs, who spent several years as a top flack for McDonald's. Obama's senior advisor David Pluff served as policy chief at Uber, while former senior advisor Valerie Jarrett has a board seat at Lyft. Sensing a pattern here <laughs> with these jobs, the Obama administration hires had no principles rooted in improving the material conditions of the working class. Clearly, all of these hires were there for their own careers, for, for, for their own benefit. And you've seen that. I mean, this isn't, this is obviously is not exclusive to the Obama administration. This is just in general how politics is done. But it is so in your face where, you know, Democrats will pretend to stand up for the working class. And then ultimately, once they leave government, they turn around and join a, uh, whether it's a law firm or a company like, like Uber or, or Amazon, where they're actively fighting against the working class. Now, Tom Perez, of course, um, was an absolutely atrocious DNC chair. I covered him many times. Uh, I don't even know where to start. I mean, this is a guy who stood for nothing. <laughs> One of my favorite lines from Tom Perez, I think I have it here. Um, so he always uh, talked about uh, how we have to lead with our values. Democrats have to lead with our values. And that Democrats should be should be for good things and against bad things. <laughs> That was how, that was Tom Perez, his strategic mind at the head of the DNC. Before good things and against bad things, of course, never specific, because he was always against working class policy, always against things like Medicare for all, actively fought against progressive initiatives. Some examples here, DNC chair Tom Perez reverses ban on fossil fuel money. So that was one video I did. Um, uh, Bernie wins Iowa, but Tom Perez calls for re-canvas. What else here? Bernie, it was a mistake for Tom Perez to endorse. So Tom Perez endorsed Andrew Cuomo. Yeah, anyways, Tom Perez, just a useful tool of the Democratic Party establishment, now working at a law firm. Here are some of their um, clients. Lockheed Martin, Eagle LNG, Citadel LLC, State Street Corp, Bank Policy Institute, American Airlines, Charles Schwab, Edison Electric Institute, Discover Financial, Experian. A little more in terms of the... Um, some of the examples here of uh, Tom Perez's new workplace of what they have done. So one Venable Partners firm bio brags that he, quote, defeated a labor union bid for recognition as the collective bargaining representative after advising and coordinating the employer's five-month anti-union campaign. Another Venable lawyer's bio gloats that she secured a favorable result for a corporation undergoing a Department of Labor investigation regarding violations of the Federal Labor Standards Act. It was always clear that Tom Perez was working against the best interests of the working class, and at least now, he no longer has to hide it. 